Meet with your girl, Miss Create. And I got a special guest today, guys. Yes, 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 yes. I got my boy joining with me. He's with Wall Space, his own company. And he's going to give us a little in-depth attitude of information about his music. Yes, he also has music and his company called Wall Space. So we're going to bring him in real fast and talk about it. If you just tuned in and you're just uploading with us, welcome to Urban Art AF. This is your girl, Miss Create, and I got a great special guest with us today. So let me just transfer over. You know how I do. I take me a little second to transfer over the thing. So give me a second, guys. Let me figure this stuff out because I'm newbie to this. <laughs> so, okay. So let me put my picture on here first. Let me get a little... And now we get joined up here to see how we work. Okay, so yes, I'm going on. You're going to see my face today. Hey, guys. You're going to see me today. I might be looking a little rugged. Hi, everybody. There you go. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Okay, let's get my boy up here. Uh, let me see. I guess transfer some in here. Oh, there there we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Here we go. I think we're looking good. Let me just move myself over here. I'm just gonna move my okay, How you doing today, there we go. I'm doing well, Tanya. Thank you for asking. Thank you for having me. Um, I oh, appreciate the invitation. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to speaking and you know um, explaining more about what I'm working on and and why I'm doing it. So happy perfect, to be here. Perfect, perfect. I'm glad you're here. Give me a second here, guys. I'm trying to get into the picture with y'all, but. Uh, me and my OBS ain't friends right now. It's trying to like <laughs> try to figure this out how to move myself over. I had it earlier, but now I'm like, I don't want to. Here we go. I think I can do that. I, I feel like I, I got a lag going too, though. I don't want to. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to lag here. Okay, let me get this real, guys. I don't think you. Here we go. There, there you go. There we go. Yeah, it might be a little. It is a little, probably like a five second lag and everything. So okay, okay, yeah. All right, so I'll just keep moving then. All right, yeah, cool. just keep moving. So good. So first of all, introduce yourself. Tell us about your company real fast. Just first introduce yourself and give out the website so everybody can look on that and everything. So we can start from there. So you have the floor, sweetie. Awesome. So um, my name is Jordan Gia. I'm the founder of Wallspace. We officially launched this past March 30th, 31st. Uh, we've been operating for two months, and basically, Wallspace is a marketplace platform that connects muralists and street artists to commissioned walls across the US and uh, now Canada. So, um, basically, uh, you know, I, I have a 12 uh, year background in real estate. I was in real estate development, asset management, uh, brokerage, you know, kind of different things throughout the years uh, due to some, you know, mentors that I've had. And uh, once, you know, uh, I, I would say pre-COVID, you know, I already kind of didn't want to continue doing real estate. This was probably maybe, you know, 10 years into the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I was I was ready to do something different. I wanted to do something creative. I started going to Parsons, you know, to take classes on like design and stuff like that. I just I wanted to do something completely different. Uh, once I got, you know, once I did like a year at Parsons, it was great because you know you kind of learning like a you know you're learning a trade from a trade school and you you know it's super direct. So um, I loved it. And once I finished. Um, once I finished the the program there, I was still just ready to get into something, you know, creative. And, uh, you know, I had this idea of, you know, I realized that artists had a hard time trying to find, you know, walls and, and, and paid opportunities. Not, I don't want to say a hard time, but artists, there wasn't, there wasn't like a real streamlined way. There, right. was, there was, right? Yeah. like yeah, It really is. It really is. It's still to the you know, day, court of sign of, you know, sort of. Yeah. So it's like, I wanted to find a way where it's like, how can we use technology to really, you know, streamline that whole process. And since I know how to get in touch with developers and, and landlords, you know, it was easy for me to get, you know, in front of them and so forth. So I was like, let me just kind of put my two passions together, you know, art and real estate and see what I can um, develop. Um, and through all that research and due diligence, you know, I started finding out that developers and people looking for muralists as well had a hard time because uh, mm -hmm. they really couldn't find anyone uh, available or within budget. And um, so I figured, hey, if I can create a platform that really, you know, answers you know, a dual sided marketplace that answers one question and then also helps another one, you know, as well. 
uh, that's really how how it all developed. So I just been sourcing. Yeah, 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 I've been sourcing that, spaces for like a year now, and, and now that is here, love so. right there. We gotta we gotta hook each other up there. I, gotta, I need a space. I need a space. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to get as many as I can. You know, as that's many opportunities as possible. Thing, so. And that's why I brought you on this platform because a lot of places, a lot of people, like artists like me as muralists, don't know where exactly to start at. And now that we're in 2021, it's a different type of approach going into 2021 to beyond because it's not like back in the days where you just go up to a store owner and be like, yo, I'll paint this wall for you. Um, you know, just buy the supplies, you know, the paint supplies and everything. That's the way I hustle the art. Or you just know from a friend, from a friend, from a friend. Um, but now with today with everybody with these big murals going on and people from coming from all around the country to come and paint these huge, beautiful murals, it's a different game to the whole aspect of it got political a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's it's hard yeah, to get yeah. that out. it's hard to you know to really get that building that you want or even if you, when you do get the building or if you do get it into that aspect, getting the money to get paid for it. It's a whole different board game. So I, I, I didn't well, to, to that point, like, I didn't want to make it political, which is why at the moment, wall space is only one-sided. Uh, it's only, it's only I should say, viewed on one side. So it's now the artist putting the power in the artist to go and, I guess, uh, I don't want to say promote or pitch because it's just really showing availability, but it's really giving artists the opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to, I'm interested in doing your wall, your project, you know, if you like my style or my, my you know, type of work, you know, let let us know you know and it's removing that other side where it is political where the developers are always reaching for the you know most hyped artists at the moment that's in magazines that's getting all these other opportunities mm -hmm. and so I think that's the great part of what you're doing because like you said it is those you know those cliches of, of the world famous artists getting these walls and everything and not your local community artists or you're just your local artists period to other communities and I think that's a great aspect that you're giving a chance to people, you know, with these walls, because now a lot of people are trying to get into these, you know, the, the, the mural aspect of their art part of their lives. You know what I'm saying? Before, like yeah. you said, it was just a few of us in between of us and we could just get there. But now with this whole new world of mural art, and, and which I'm so happy it, it's where it's at today, because they brought a lot of street artists, like muralists, I mean, a lot of street artists, like the PD artists and you know, really street artists to get into that limelight, getting that high, how should I say, the high, uh, how should I put that, a high uh, caliber of art. You know what I'm saying? Where you started from the bottom, you work your way up. So I definitely appreciate that. And what type of artists are you looking for? And let's just, just tell them about the structure of what type of artists you look into and how you structure, how do you go about picking your artists? Well, the, um, I'm glad you're asking questions like I guess in this format because I'm not picking anyone you know I'm not really looking for um, anyone specifically I, I want to collect as many artists as uh, collect registrations as to as many artists as possible you know internationally as well only because once the borders open there's plenty of artists that do travel to New York and what if they had the opportunity to make their mark in a whole nother city so that's it opens up the doorway for that so um, you know, we're not looking for any type of art. It's just people that are street slash muralist, you know, people that work with spray, that work with paint, you know, how can we just, yes. people who are interested, you know, I guess, I guess if you were to really ask me and, and there was no, uh, actual label for it, but the people that we're looking for are people who want to create on walls, you know, whether it's permanently or temporary or on brick or on sheetrock. Like if people are really interested in painting on walls, like we're the type, we want to help those extremely talented artists that may not have the opportunity um they may not have a manager to really help promote them and they may be terrible at promoting themselves but if i can really help each one of these artists get an opportunity and make a mark in a whole nother city in a way they didn't imagine before couldn't imagine before that was that's really what my goal is that's a, that's a beautiful goal i mean that's what everybody's trying to reach is they they success in life and everything and i appreciate it. if anybody got any questions please Definitely log on. I mean, log on. <laughs> Type over there in the comments if you want to ask us some questions. Hi over there. Hi, Michelle. That's Michelle from Cleveland. My girl, Hi, native Michelle. Cleveland. She's uh, definitely a great artist. She's an awesome artist that has her own channel on here, and she's fantastic. So Lovely. we're getting it from everybody from around the world. Hopefully, we get my UK people up here, too. So <laughs> check us out all around. 
Well, Michelle, welcome. And uh, Jordan, let me ask you a question. Do you have a favorite muralist? Um, I would say my favorite would be um, people I've really been into lately. Um, I feel like it changes weekly, right? Because I'm always like, yeah. I'm always having a conversation with someone new. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I just spoke to this artist from Montreal, Kevin Lido, um, uh -huh. yesterday, uh, yesterday. And, um, I mean, I, I've, I've like fell in love with his stuff. Um, um, and there was another person who I just ran into the other day that I have, I've never seen before. And I'm, um, I'm drawing a blank, but I do love uh, I am Meals. So Meals, the guy who does the owls and uh, owls and I've seen his work before. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I am Meals. Let me double check. Yeah, I don't know his name, but I, I, it's the I, if I think I'm because there's so many meals uh, murals out here nowadays. He does yeah. owls and birds and stuff like that. It's yeah, cool. and and it's cool like color palette. Like yes, I, I can't yes. find it right now, but um, yeah. Um, yeah that's so cool. That's so yeah. cool. My favorite street artist, I have a couple of myself, uh, a favorite is, uh, it's probably Swoon. I love Swoon. I love this young lady named San Juan. She's a LA city based artist and she's Mexican and she does these little dolls. But she started, you know, grinding and then to the level where she's at now, I'm so proud of her because she created her own brand. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's the whole thing. If you are going to get into this game, you really got to get into the full throttle. Create yourself a brand. Make yourself what it needs to be presented, like Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Make them want more. And that's what you're getting into here. When you get into this offering, you want your customers to want more from you. So, and I, and I love the way San Juan kind of utilized that through street art. She put her dolls everywhere. She asked these, you know, like I hustled like back in the day, was asking stone owners to put this up. And then with LA, it's a little more and more different in LA because in LA, the walls out there, they are street artists' own kind of mentality. Like this certain art artist clicks in LA that you have to mm -hmm. go through in order to get that wall. Now you just can't just roll up like in New York, just go up in the streets and just hit a wall up and that's be cool with that. You can't do that in LA. Let me just give y'all the information right now. I'm a Harlem girl. <laughs> You cannot run up in LA, downtown LA, or any part in LA, and think you're gonna get up on the wall like that. You have to have permission from the street crews out there, and the street crews mean the artist crews out there. Yeah, a couple, and there's some girl crews and guy crews. So those are really what I, I, I kind of give gratitude and, and, and grateful for because they're this art crews. That's kind of even dope. But even though they fight over those little walls out there, I get it. I understand. It's it's, it's from the way back when to now, so I definitely understand. But I love they fought, they fought for those walls for years. So yes, yeah. yes. And the crazy part is it's still like that to, to this day, guys. You cannot really just seriously just if you're gonna throw up a paste a year, but if you're trying to do a real piece out there, I will be very, very, very careful. So I like the structure you're going because certain towns and certain cities you don't know that. And if you don't know that, you just go up in there. So I like companies like yours yourself, meaning that you want to do the research when you go into these cities, find out who who, you know, quote unquote owns the walls, is, is it the street type of style of, you know, getting these walls up there? Because you do have to ask permission, like the old school way, and you're like, you go in somebody, you know, neighborhood, can you, you know what I'm saying? Can you see yeah, yeah. neighborhood? So it's, 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 unfortunately, it's like that, but I, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's an interesting thing, I could definitely say that. You know, so that's oh, yeah, like it. turf wars wherever you go. You know, yeah, so if you, come into a lot of, you get into a lot of that when you go into the, oh, you started from your city, and you're working your way out. But I thought you said you're kind of going around the around a couple of uh, cities and countries, right? Trying to get wall space. So do you come up? Yeah. Times. So um, I live in New Rochelle right now. Um, I, I've been living there for five years. That's right outside Manhattan in Westchester. Um, so I've been living there and just kind of working. You know, try I guess in the past year or so, just really trying to get a few opportunities there. Um, and that was kind of like, you know, my, my area, which I was focusing on because I, you know, I just found a bunch of opportunities and also New Rochelle just did a, they just did a street art. Um, I would call it a, um, like a fair, you know? So they had like a, a huge mural program that they put up. So I was like, Oh wait, I could still help you guys try to get more for the next, for the next session, for the next, uh, like phase or wave of murals. 
Um, so I really started like just pounding the doors of town hall and the development department and trying to get them to let me, you know, utilize, uh, to, so I could be like their go-to person for the upcoming murals that they're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, in your shell is like, I haven't done, uh, well, technically, you know, we, we were going to do one, but it's, it's up in the air right now, but yeah, we haven't done anything in New Rochelle yet. Um, the closest stuff that we've done is in Stamford, Connecticut. Um, okay. I know about yeah. right? Yep, I know about Connecticut. That's cool. Um, you know yeah. what? Um, um, Michelle asks on here. She says, uh, "How do muralists get connected with you? As in, what do they need to have to in their portfolio for you to even?" He said, "You don't really consider anything, but I'm gonna let him ask this question in a little more detail." Can you answer that question for it? Yeah, sure. Um, well, thank you for the question, Michelle. Um, yeah, so they. The only the real way to get connected is just go online on the bottom. There's a call to action. Um, it says uh, register here or new artist registration, something like that. Um, but you go in there. It's just a few questions just to help me know a little bit more about you. And that way, um, as we grow and build the portfolio um, of walls, if there's something in your city, like, you know, we want to be the first you want. We want you to be the first person to know about it. Right. Because a lot of developers, they want local. Like, that's what they say. Like, oh, we want local. Um and I feel like what I've been running into lately is more of them saying that they want local, but then when they have a lot of the local, you know, talent, they're not like thrilled with their work. So we're trying to really like push for, you know, local artists, you know, but I, the, the tough part is like, there's no database to find these local artists. So that's why I'm trying to do this. And like, you know, sending out invitations on Instagram throughout the day, you know, just really trying to build up this database because I know there's 50 artists in each state. It's just like, I don't have, I don't know about them yet. So that's where really, uh, it helps if people, you know, speak about it, you know, pass the information along so the artists can register. Um, so that was the first part of the question, you know, just my contact info is probably like right there on the contact page. Um, you know, so I'm definitely not shy of answering any phone calls at any time of the day. Uh, and then to have a portfolio, yeah, I would strongly suggest, you know, just providing your, your, your artist, you know, website, that would probably be the easiest thing. Um, and if you have a page dedicated to your, you know, exterior slash interior uh, mural work, that would be, you know, you could paste that in there as well. Or if people, some people put, put paste that as well as like a, you know, eight page PDF of their, of their work. So, uh, but version 2.0, we're going to be building out like a whole portfolio um, page for the artist. So as a pro as an artist, you'll have like a nice, really clean, organized profile page so that you can showcase like your, your best work instead of like Instagram where it's like mixed between your family and you, you want to just show like your, your final, your final pieces. Um, okay. So yeah, that's what, that's what the version two is looking okay, like. Okay. Michelle got some great questions here. I love this girl. Okay. So next thing, cause she's a uh, native, uh, native American. So what are you doing for the, like the reservations or the native American you know, urban communities? Have you ever thought about expanding your services towards there? Cause like we um, in Las Vegas, I know we have one the actual native, you no. Know, so it's a great, that's a great question because um, my primary focus is real estate developers at the moment. Like I'm kind of going after the bigger fish, the big fish. Um, I'm not really going after developers by state or location. Um, definitely main cities like Boston, Florida, you know, Miami, you know, um, certain cities in Texas and on the East coast. But um I'm not really focusing on like certain locations yet. So I'm really so dry on the West coast, like Midwest. Like I don't have anything over there except like a project in Seattle. Um, so I do, I feel like if I know more about it, I could definitely, you know, um, put some energy towards that, but yeah, forgive me. I don't really have any, um, any work with the, uh, native American urban communities. I didn't, you know, I don't know specifically where to focus. Um, well, you, well, you just met a young lady named Michelle Alexander that can give you that information. <laughs> for sure, like, yeah. yeah. Please shows reach like out. This. I like shows like this because you can definitely reach out and definitely connect with her because she, she has a great abundance of information when it comes yeah, down. I'll paste my um, I'll paste my e my email too. Um, yeah. yeah. So for that, it's it's definitely helpful. Um, you know, I don't really have like a a, a special place right now where I know about it. Um, so that's why I haven't. Like I said, me focusing on the developers. 
I'm just focusing on the big guys because they have oh. stuff in 20 states, you know, in 10 states. So that's really how I just kind of focus my effort. And she's a Canadian too. So she's a Canadian native. So ain't you in, uh, uh, you in Canada too, aren't you, Jordan? No, no, I'm in New York. Oh, yeah. York. oh okay, okay. You, well, so New York is damn near close to Canada. <laughs> yeah, 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 close. Yeah. You call it the, like the, the Sixth Island over there, the Canada. <laughs> Yeah, I like no, South, but, uh, South, South, South New York. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, yeah, definitely connect with him and everything. He just put up his email, um, his email at jg at wallspace.com. That's W-X-L-L-S-P-A-C-E. I love the way yeah. he spells that. And this has been fantastic. And I appreciate that. Um, With this, uh, I know it's hard, uh, like she said, with the portfolios. And, and this putting together a portfolio for your clients and people just to view is a really kind of really funny way to maneuver through that um with with portfolio basing i always say if you're going to do a portfolio put your bet best work for it you know what i'm saying put what you think you don't think is good is probably the best thing to put on their portfolio so if you ever need any help with the portfolio uh, michelle just let me know i could do something on here to help people with portfolio and everything for people because I also, but like wall space, um, I, I deal with more corporate aspects of artwork and getting um, contracts. I try to really go for the, like the, what's around me. And what's around me is hotels. I'm surrounded, I'm in Viva Las Vegas. So that's the entertainment section of the world. So I'm concentrating more on hotels. I concentrate more on these new sports teams that's popping up like wildfires out here. Now all of a sudden we're a sports team type of city now, you know, with the hockey, and, and mm-hmm. football and everything. So that's where I kind of cater all the art to because regardless of the fact, they love the structure of art somewhere in there. So that's what I've been kind of leaning towards and getting into. So I'll be getting into a lot of the hotels um, and pushing that forward, trying to get into those places because those is where, you know, you want those contracts with corporate. Unfortunately, even though corporate is that so-called, you know, ugh, the politics and that, you still want to get into that because that's where your right. good check comes from. You know what I'm saying? That's where your check can make you eat for a couple of months, you know, instead of for a couple of a days or a couple of weeks of just paying off that particular bill or so. This will make you look good. So I try to think out the box. That's why I like what you're doing as far as looking for walls for people, you know, because we do need that. We, we need that exposure. People are like, you know, yeah. they're coming up for this wall. But being on the wall is great exposure. You just got to know which one to do. Because some people might ask, you know, do this wall for free. Don't do anything for free. You know, I saw you don't do shit for free. But if they can supply you with the, the, the supplies as far as your cans and stuff, to do the wall, do it because you can also utilize that as your, your calling card. You know, that's your business card, you know, now. And so don't always turn down mural stuff if people, you know, if they ask you to do it for free, like, you know, life ain't free. But if you pay for my art supplies to put it up there, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Simple stuff like that. And if it's for charities, charities are a little different, but they always, regardless of who it is, charities or people just asking for it or just people just trying to come to you, charge them if you don't if you don't want to, like, if you know them and they're particularly friends, like, charge them for our supplies. Always charge our supplies. You got to get something out the deal. And look at it towards as a, a, a process of getting your own calling card. That's a, a yeah. way to look at it. Uh, let's see. It says here, uh, Michelle is putting here. I love Detroit. How are you? The wall space opportunities there, and of course, I'm in checking everything that's out here in Cleveland since she just moved there. So, how are you doing over there in Detroit and uh, Cleveland? Have you any thing over there? <laughs> Nothing. In, um, I've tried Detroit actually, but let me not. Let me just drop down Cleveland. Yeah, I've tried Detroit. Um, so I haven't had much luck there. Um, I know there's a lot of development going on because there's a whole, like, you know, they're just kind of rezoning the communities and trying to, you know, invest a lot of money into the into the city. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely have done my research. I just don't know. I just haven't really come across, like, a Detroit-based, you know, artist, um, Detroit-based um, developer at the moment. Um, you know, so, like, just to give you a little insight, I like how my process is. It's like, you know, looking for developers on major, you know, websites that are, you know, posting their new development, stuff like that. Um, and then there's a few like Detroit ones here and there and I'll try. So 
listen, it's a, it's all it's a numbers game. So the more the more inquiries, the more um, emails I send out, you know, the more cold emails, the phone calls, you know, the more it'll happen. But uh, Cleveland is something I, I feel like I should definitely tap into this week for sure. And that's crazy because what I'm developing right now, um, I just uh, upgraded my, uh, just upgraded to Shopify and actually put an official, my official store, uh, my merch on Shopify. But I am creating um, a, how should I say, a template, not a template, a list of artists that I've been dealing with for over the years, like local artists that I met throughout the course of traveling around you know, my little 50 states here. I met a lot of artists and I do stay in contact with a lot of these artists. And I always, if I can't do it, pass it on. That's my whole thing. If you can't do yeah. it, don't be somebody that can't. You know what I'm saying? Just don't let that shit sit in the air and then somebody else grab it and be like, damn, I slapped my friend did that. So I always pass it on. But I am creating a link um, and, and for people like yourself. And it probably be either, I, I don't know if I want to make it public or private. I'm still discussing that with a bunch of people that's around me. Because this list is, is, is really, the, the, the artwork that I have been collecting with folks has been, been really intense and, and been freaking fantastic. So uh, this list that I want to develop and put in my uh, probably on my company, Little Art Bodega Company, it'd be something where you can go in and be like, Tanya, I need some artists in Detroit. Do you know any? And you can just go into the Detroit section and just look up all of the people in Detroit that you know you need to contact. So that's what I've been doing. I have a lot. I have over at least 150 <laughs> artists' emails and everything. And, and friends, I'm going through the list now to make sure everybody's list is updated and everything because I am putting this official list on my site and everything. And I'm just trying to figure nice. out. Yeah, so I'm having it for people like for people that ask me to like time it. I have an art piece and done, and I'm just gonna put it in the categories like these are street artists, these are abstract artists, you know, and let them do. And, and control their own destiny with that person. Um, yeah. I'm just there just being that 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 middle person that's providing it. It's no, it's not gonna be no fee or anything like that. I'm not trying to get paid off of it or anything. I just want people to connect with real good artists that don't get that chance. And sometimes we don't know off the top of our head, like me, because I smoke a lot of weed. Sorry, guy. <laughs> just sorry. <laughs> so I kind of, it's for my pain. No worries, it's medicinal. It's all good. Don't get all scared. I'm still a, dope with what I do and I'm still professional. Hell yeah, you are. <laughs> you yeah. know, people get scared when they say marijuana. I'd be like, oh, no, I've been doing this for a long time. So I, I must be successful. I'm, I'm here now still talking about it and, you know, right. I'm paying my bills. So I'm good. But besides that, um, I'm creating this list that I really want people to notice and really take, and really just contact that person. Because sometimes that third person um, always kind of manipulate a lot of things. I know that because I always had that third party person coming in and trying to help me or trying to figure out something more than what I asked for. <laughs> you know, right. saying they lean on what my art is and, and, and motivate their, you know, their objectivity. So now what I'm doing is just you contact that artist within themselves. You know what I'm saying? You contact that person. Like, for instance, if Michelle's on my list and you needed an artist out there in uh, Cleveland where she's at, you can contact me like, you know, hey, I'm coming in. I've got a couple of walls. I need a couple of artists. That artist can put on more artists. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the what type we need. We need that community because, like you said, uh, Jordan, you don't know too many artists in certain neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? But artists know all artists. You know what I'm saying? We, we're right there yeah. in, the, in the local neighborhood. So I think that would be a great... Now you're really going to do it now because that's just a great connection because you're not the only collective. Well, I could call you a collective, but the only wall space... I know other couple of uh, gentlemen and females that's opening up these great new, you know, mural walls, trying to find walls for people. And I think this is freaking fantastic because I wish we had that 20 years ago. <laughs> but with the internet and everything, and maybe people is, is connecting through the whole world now. It's not just in the 50s, you know, in, in the States, it's all over around the world. So you could just go beyond and more and futurize with it. So that's why I'm loving this, uh, what you're doing here. And, I, and I'm, I'm hoping that we could definitely, which we are, because we already linked together already, you know, to really link that information yeah. for us artists and and, and, and and walls together. Well, I wanna ask you, what's what in your in your experience, right? Like what is your um what is your experience in terms of um having like a public or an amount of public really more of a private forum uh you know in terms of a site, right? Because like I, as much as I'm building out this this platform 
you know, I want it to be a, 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 a safe space where people can conduct business and, and sort of, feel, you know, find opportunities, right? So I'm trying to make this like more of like a Airbnb ish type of platform for artists, right? I got but you. and I but what it go ahead. what's that? No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. But like how I don't I mean I, I don't think there's like more of like a forum type of website, you know, to really help artists connect with each other. There's social media, yes, but like is there anything, you know, is are there any like check in oh, yeah. oh yeah, I have a, there's a couple of um platforms that I use. Uh this called one is called Art Life and the other one is called damn it, I got the other it's two platforms where they they uh, where they send out information about art projects, like okay. new projects up in uh, across the country. Um, let me give you the name of it. Um, and I and um, you have to fill it out. Sometimes it's a fee, and then sometimes it's not a fee. Um, it's called art. Oh my goodness, I can't think of it. Hold on, guys. Let me look at my email right now, and I'll tell you what it is. But this little it's a couple of platforms where they show you, you know, a couple of art platforms where they tell you. That this particular house, this particular company is hiring, or this particular company is looking for such and such and such. Um, there is a couple of spaces on that. Um, look a little bit. Hold on, God. Let me see if I get the name of it. It's called. Now, watch. I can't find it because it comes up in my face every day, and I look at it. It's called Art. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where is the name of it? You know, when you look for something. Yeah, I know. They send me this damn thing every day. Now that I'm looking for it, I can't. Think Look at the name of it. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna find it. It's called. Oh my god! It... And now I can't find it. Ah, oh, it sucks. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, well, it's, it's, well, it's gonna come to me, guys. It's gonna come to me. But oh, Art Cafe. Oh, it's Art Cafe. Art Cafe. Gosh, yeah. yeah, it's called Art Cafe. This particular um Art Cafe, I, I love them. They, I mean, but you have to pick and choose, guys. So look about. You can look that up. So they give you a lot of galleries and 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 it's a lot of galleries and yeah, art cafe. Let me make sure they got the right information here, guys. Hold on, guys. I want you to go to the correct address. Yeah, it is artcafe.com. Yeah, is it yeah, artcafe.com. They're located in Denver, Colorado. It's a website. I've been using them for a couple of years now. I, I got a, a couple of cool cool jobs out of it, you know, a cool little um, murals out of it. Um, there's some that uh, you have to pay for. I don't do the pay ones because <laughs> I feel I don't have to pay to be in the gallery. I don't have to pay. I shouldn't have to pay you to be in your collection or you. I have to pay you to show to show you my artwork and you choose from 100 people 100%. that I can pick. You know what I'm saying? So I don't pay for nothing. I, I feel like pay entry to, uh, to certain uh, art collections I don't do. I'm not saying you can't do. I just, I don't do. You know, I do want everything that's listed on there. I do for the free stuff, <laughs> and the free stuff work. I mean, if your art's qualified and good, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, they're gonna choose and pick what they want. But I've been lucky, so and so, and, and I use that particular one, and I have another one. I gotta look, guys, and I will post that probably on here on my next talk or whatever. But I have another. There's another site. I can't think of it. It's another site that does strictly just like you do, just walls. Um. This company comes from, they're out of New York. I know that much. I just can't think of the name of them right now. I have to look it up on my my, my emails again. That's, I have a lot of emails. So, <laughs> but I know are, the um the, the cafe one you're talking about is um uh I have it somewhere here. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they're they're across the country. They they they. It's, it's basically what you can do is you can also list there too. I, I would think they would take you. But uh, if you have a place that you're offering, like if you're doing a show or you're doing a, a showcase or a gallery case or something like that, or they're building up this brand new bridge and they need artwork on it, this place right here, Art Cafe, they will list all that. But you are going to have to, like I said, some are free and some are paid for. I've never done the paid for one before. I always done the free stuff. And I just submit, do exactly what they said, and then submit my, you know, my, my, my artwork and everything for that particular project. So I don't know if you're going about doing that like they are, but they actually put the information out there on what the project's about and where it's at and how much it's going to be. And then the artist used to be to email them and stuff like that. That's another way you can well, go about it too also. So I don't know how you actually figure it out how you're going to put your base up, but you definitely want to have the right people come to that particular to you so that you're choosing that 
who's best for that project. You know what I'm saying? It's a better yeah, yeah. Like it's it's not like me. I don't want to like curate or you know like be biased. Like I'm like I'm really trying to level that playing field. I think it's more of like a. I guess I'm. I guess I was trying to figure out if there was more like a artist community, like a street graffiti artist community that was well, public you know, online. You know what? The street artist community online. Um, I feel uh, like it's very diverse and very spread is. out, which is why yeah. I'm like, oh, is there anything like specific? That's. It I guess is. that's really kind of where I. No. You know, and I, and I would rather I would want to create something more on brand to like you know that really is like very hyper focused on. You know, like I said, walls or street art, you know, in certain places. So I'm just in some in a place also to find feedback and figure out where there are pain points in the process. Yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. I think it's more like on Instagram that you have this little, you know, things like it's only it depends on it, there's so many clicks and 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 collectors out here. Say for yeah. like secret walls. Say for instance, secret walls. I don't know if anybody heard of secret walls, but secret walls is where these dope ass artists who does you know illustrations and everything um they do like art basel and they do certain like high-end uh, uh conventions um yeah and secret walls is basically each city where they get the best of the best in that particular city and they go head to head and do a art battle basically you only have like a couple of hours or hour or two i think it's like you do like an hour or two and yeah. you only get paint in one color i mean two colors black and white you only can use certain things. So it's, it's this limit and it's fun to see how people just come off the top of their head and be creative. And that community has been going on since I started with them in about 215 when I learned about them out in our bars. And they have it in every other city. So like they come to the city and do the show when a big event is going on. So say like Life is Beautiful Go On, they will have a, a Secret Walls there or South by Southwest, they have Secret Walls out there. And they call it Secret Walls because it is uh, a kept secret between you know illustrators and street artists and everything. And it's not that much of a secret, but it's, it's just dope how they come about it. And that's something else that, you know, like a type of, of, of collector that comes around that you, you can get into. There's just so many people that have so many different type of of, of adventures. It, it's hard to just pick one particular place to find out where everybody's at. You know what I'm saying? For instance, yeah. like me, me and you met on Clubhouse. And I think Clubhouse, you know, it's this app on here where you just came on. It was just for iPhone. I think they went to Androids now. Um, Clubhouse has been a real interesting place to meet people because basically yeah. it's, it, it was really more on a, a professional level where I liked about, you know, where it's leading now is a little bit different. But when it first started, it really was about the business. It was really about the you know, the basin, it still is, you know, they have these little clubs, these little rooms, people, you know, make up and they, you know, they talk and make knowledgeable about the art. And I think that's what we met at in one of those rooms. Yep. And, uh, and I think that right there shows a lot of community as far as what, if you go into these rooms, you can see a lot of different artists from well-known artists from that that's the top of the game to little unknown artists. That's why I think I'm yeah. in the house because I was in rooms where I be in a room where I admire these people, you know what I'm saying? I've seen they work across. I've been next to them, you know, and to see them in these rooms communicating and, and telling us their secret source has been amazing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think you just have to pick and choose to find out where exactly you're going to be, you know, to find these folks, you know what I'm saying? So Clubhouse is one of them. Um, I always feel like these festivals, I love festivals. I love art festivals. I love to... I think that's a great space that you can also find a lot of artists in is to be in that community, mm -hmm. the festival art, because that's street art. I know more how to get about more street arts than more more as far as gallery artists. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah, the, the absolutely. Blue chip gallery artists that have that fine art. You're not going to find too many of those fine artists doing murals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so your aspect of artists that you that you want for your material is definitely the street artists, the the the, the low brown. Hundred percent. That's that, that's where brown. I want to. That's where I want to focus. Yeah. Yeah, the low brown room and stuff like that. That's that's where you want to focus at. It's, it's definitely just in the streets and with street art, you you have to be in the streets to really get that vibe. You know, to be in that in in that scene. So that's why I say Art Basel and and the festivals and all that is the way to go. Like Michelle was saying in Cleveland. There's a bunch of murals, you know, mural festivals going on out there. As she was saying, a bunch of move, you know, opportunities out there because I, I feel it should be out there because they're growing out there. You know, like you said, it may be hard to figure out, but I feel like every city now they're trying to take out the hoods 
out of all these cities, unfortunately. And they try to what they call it gentrification. You know, if we could catch on to yeah. these gentrifications and, and, and jump on these panels where we could show people that look, if you're gonna gentrify, use the people around you to gentrify, use these artists. Hundred percent. Use these use the community to help you gentrify so they can kick them out and push them out, combine with them. And I think, you know, art always bring people together. But, you know, for the strangest reason, art is the conversation to break in to get you to the next level, I feel. You know, so I think that's one of the ways that you can definitely kind of kind of out and to try to get into everything as far as trying to find more artists and everything. So the, the, just to tag along with like the gentrification part, like mm -hmm. a lot of these developers, these are where they're first purchasing their properties and they're using artists for quote unquote for free. Exactly. Um, so idea is like, all right, now let's reverse that and like have, really value them for what they work and make lowbrow, you know, highbrow in a sense. Like let's let's value what they're doing in the community, and that's why, like on my platform, there's no, you know, there's no place for, um, how do I put it? Like the artists, whenever they see like a proposal, like that's exactly what they're gonna get. Like there's no dipping, there's no like wall space taking a cut out of their fee or whatever for putting up the mural. We're, we're we're billing directly to the developer, and like the number that you see is like what you get. I thought that was a uh, that I thought personally that that's very important because I don't want to have like I don't want like another platform where an artist is an artist like all right well how much are you taking I get that question asked a lot so I really love answering it in the way that I do where it's like no we don't take anything we're really trying to actually like help you get you know um, the full value of your work and and I think in a way and, and let's just say in five years this is actually going to really um, change the game a little bit as in terms of one just leveling the playing field and then two really getting artists their value like what they should be getting paid instead of like you know a diminished dollar amount so basically it's being transparency is the key for artists i'm gonna tell you right now my my big if there was a t in if there was a t in wall space that would be one of the accurate the, the letters for it for an acronym transparency. it would be transparency but but i switched it it is actually x X, I think, is the uh, X-ray for transparency. I think that's what I, like I put. That. I like that. I or like some, that. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Someone else came up with that, but I was like, no, that's it. Because I was trying to find out. I was like, well, I don't know how to put like transparency in this. And someone was like, well, you put X for X-ray. I was like, all right, like it works. I was going to say, I love the wordplay you played on the wall right there. That's, that's so dope. So I definitely, yeah. I mean, artists, you have to be transparent. And, I, and I'm an artist and I know how it is because you could sit there and these, you know, these gallery owners, these, 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 these corporate people, these marketing people, a lot of people be in your ear when you're a hot commodity when it comes down to art. And artists, you know, and especially, especially in this art game. Hey, Nalas, how you doing, sweetie? So especially in this art game. So I, I artists are listen, we're all sensitive. We are. Well, I'm a art, I'm a creative. Creatives are sensitive. Like, hey, we care about what we're doing. This is our shit. This is what we're putting. We're putting our, we're putting a lot of effort into this, and it may not show, uh, in terms of uh, labor hours, but like we're putting a lot of like emotion and heart into what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, I, co I completely get when an artist is like sensitive or like, um, you know, maybe like temperamental about their about criticism or feedback. It's like, no, this is exactly what they do, and if you don't like their stuff, that's fine. There's plenty of stuff to go around, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely crazy. I'm reading right here, but uh, one thing I see here is Studio Network, where once a month they have a studio a toy event and you go from place to place to studio to see the artists in the studio. Oh, that's really cool that, that mm. they do that out here. Um, what uh, Las Vegas does, they have the thing called uh, First Fridays. And every first Friday of the month, uh, they do a whole cast of artists in the street um they have their booths and they just sell the art and everything so i definitely definitely understand how that that works right there uh michelle so that's kind of dope too that they go into studios so that's basically how it's like a uh what they call that beer one when you go around and do the beer ones you go tell you bars and stuff like that the beer yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 uh, yeah so it's like a beer run one or um like a, a bar crawl Ball call, there we go. I couldn't think, I don't Marco, drink beer, guys. Yeah. I don't drink liquor, so I, but I hear about these ball.
Yeah. Art crawl. Yeah, right, right. right. I think her uh, her service got interrupted, but we'll wait for her in a second. She should be back in a second. Live streaming could be a virtual art crawl. That's what I'm trying to build here. That would be cool. I, I try to do a lot of Twitch streams for our, our any pieces that we put up, like a Twitch stream. Oh, nice. Sketch parties. Yeah, check that out. to native uh, my internet connection with connection router with uh, Yes, I think she is resetting. Awesome, yes, please do. Shoot me an email, Michelle, um, JG at Wallspace, um, or hit the contact form or uh, register as an artist. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get you connected. You know, we'll, we, me and you can have a conversation, you know, later today. Oh my goodness, guys! I am so sorry. <laughs> no worries. I forgot my sleep behind. Forgot to plug in my power. I'm sorry, oh, guys. No, I <laughs> not want you to die. I forgot to plug in my power. I did the. <laughs> uh, we start after thirty seconds. I think I'm having issues with your house. That's why I'm on YouTube. Oh, okay. So cool. I'm sorry, guys. So let me just restart this real fast. Let me see if I can just. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. I'm so. <laughs> oh my goodness! I think we're back. Yeah, this is slow going on right now. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, so Jordan. Right now. Okay, we okay, good. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, user error. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry for that, Jordan. So so sorry. No I had to be on point. I thought I had I'm when I, to I was answer, answer a few questions. That's cool. That's cool. That's too. Cool. You kept him in company. I appreciate you keeping him company. I so appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michelle, Michelle kept me company. There you go. I, this has been fantastic. So um we're getting close to that hour. We got 10 more minutes left. So let's let's get into some more um Quick questions. That's real fast. So we know about your business and just double. I like to keep saying this. Just give them your information one more time. Just keep it in the air. Yeah, yeah. In the, just shout that out again, please, guys. She's typing it in again. But uh, please go to or email. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, L. I, well, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I did the uh, the ultimate. The ultimate newbie thing. I forgot to uh, plug my laptop in. 
you, you pulled an Irish exit. Yes, 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 yes. There I go. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Irish exit. <laughs> oh, that's so dope. I love it. You know, so, but back to what we say, I forgot what we was talking about. That was quick. I was so sorry. Yeah. What yeah. happened? Um, I forgot the last thing we said, but, um, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, it was, was a few questions that you're asking. Yeah. Let's just, let's, let's just continue with it. That's okay. We're going to continue with this flow because I'm loving the flow and I'm loving where you're coming from. Like I said, um, I, I love this, this, how you're creating it now. Now with this, is this going to be a database type thing where people, are you going to make this open to the public or are you going to make this kind of private where they have to, you know, so you can pan out the series from the bull crap. How are you going to make your website? Is it going to be like an open space panel where people come on and be like, oh, I see this artist, I want to hire him. Or is it going to be more detail where you know what that person's coming from before you even jump onto your site and look at these artists? Once we get to um, once we get to a higher um, user base in terms of artists, uh, at that point, we're going to probably switch over that model to um, – art uh, developers, you know, being able to look for an artist because um, we do want transaction speed to be a lot faster. Um, mm -hmm. And at the moment, you know, with certain artists, you know, in a sense, not, it, 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 comes, down, it comes down to marketing. Like if we're always in, you know, if we're always in your face and if we're always, you know, providing opportunities, then, you know, uh, word of mouth and, you know, all that stuff will kind of travel. Uh, and I think, but in terms of like developers, you know, they pretty much right now, they just sign up, sign their wall up on the site. And once they get on the site, the artists will start getting pinged to do all of this, um, you know, to sort of submit inquiries for, you know, and submit interest for a project. Um, it, it is going to be open. You know, it's not going to be a private service. It's just going to be a place, you know, any artist is going to be available because then we're not, we're, we're got to continue this level of transparency, providing access yeah. to spaces mm -hmm. across the across the globe. Um, so we need that level of transparency, but we also need to, uh, there also, there's just there's the other side of it where you do need to do a lot of vetting for artists. So we do need like a lot of artists to be qualified, not in terms of quality, I think more in terms of professionalism, um, you know, prof professionalism, I would say is probably our, our highest, um, qualitative, you know, point at the moment. It's not, it's not all about like style and, and quality of work and things just comes down to professionalism. You know, and I, I'm not definitely professionalism, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I, it comes, you know, I'm, be, I'm, 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 I'm very transparent. It's about quality to me, um, very much quality, because I, I need to make sure you understand what you're doing on those walls. I need to make sure that you're not just being amorous, uh, you know, and just learning to start with me to, you know, when you get to a certain point, in this game, especially with you know these murals, you can't really hold a person's hand. So I need to know that they are that their skills are qualified to do that walk because you're putting your reputation on on it. So I'm gonna be straight up and forward with y'all. I, I am very even when the shows are curated and everything, I pick anybody, you know, and I don't care what age they are. But if your professionalism and your your quality of your work is 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 is, is to the level where a person want to spend a couple of G's or a couple of thousand dollars, that's what I'm looking for. Because you have artists out here that's half-ass shit and will come on you, you know, and come on me. And you look at it like, hold up, I could have got my little cousin and done that and done that for free. You know what I'm saying? So I do look for quality. I, work. I agree with you. I, I, I'm yeah. not saying quality work is not important. There's that's where your portfolio is going to come into play. If you have if you have right. no portfolio, but you're a professional. I could see giving you an opportunity saying like, Hey, like we can try out this opportunity, this opportunity or whatever, yeah. you know, there's going to be levels to it. You know, we're going to have like tier based of artists. Um, gotcha. At, gotcha. After, so after never this point. Game. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But this game. <laughs> 100, but, but I still want to continue that aspect of like leveling the playing field because like mm -hmm. that new person who wants to do it and is taking it seriously, they're giving it, you know, 110%. They just don't have the opportunities. They're never going to get the opportunity if they don't have an opportunity like wall space. True. I agree. You know, how do they, how do they know to get in contact with you? How do they like, you know, again, it's, t it's, there's no speed in it. They're not They're going to be searching high and low on Facebook and Instagram and whatever. There's no speed in that. So like we're trying like this needs to be like a central like a base. This needs to be like a conduit to provide access to both parties. 
Yeah, and I see what you're saying, Michelle. Michelle's saying quality seems like it's part of professionalism. Yeah, to a certain point. I, I feel, yes, you are correct to a certain point. But I guess I've been doing this so long and, and uh, dealing with artists and, and trust. I don't mean from old, old to young to young to old, you know, from street art to fine art, from, you know, high end, like I said, blue chip gallery artists to around the corner collective just hustling on the street corner artists. You know, I've, I've dealt with a lot of them. And, and no matter which area they're in, you have to have. And I don't care if you start out young, you know what I'm saying? You have to have that mentality of, like you said, professionalism and quality of your work. You know, some people just do things half-ass. And I know, I used to do things half-ass. So I know that half-ass certainty of those type of artists that's iffy. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you want to dig out of, 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 of the ones that's, that's really trying their hardest and is, is new to this and wants to learn and wants to feed off of other artists and wants to build their career to where they can become the greatest that they can be. That's a different story. So I definitely get what you're saying as, as, as levels to this. And I want to hear that from you. I'm glad you are saying that. That's showing me that you know the structure of artists and where they need to go and what art to be put with what, you know, what wall or what company and stuff like that. And that's the type of thing that but, you definitely But to also have. point, I agree. I agree. But like to add on to your point too, like we're not curating anything. You know, we're not like, I, I'm not in this business to like choose artists. Like I can't be a person who's well, building a database, but also. Even though you say you're not curating, but you are curating. When you meet that wall and to that artist, you're creating for that particular co company, for you, giving that artist that like, creativity. You are creating that technically, I get what you're saying, but a little bit you're all curating. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you, you may not filtering. like that I'm name. Gonna, I'm filtering. <laughs> Fil fil I'm filtering, right? Cause like exactly. I'm filtering exactly. what comes through. But it, ultimately, it, the developer is going to say, "That's the style. This is the type of this is the type of art that we want to do." You yes. know, so yeah. like I don't want to always choose Tanya because I love Tanya, but like right, not letting right. like a, a newbie exactly. get the opportunity. So like I can't I can't be both sides of that coin. I can't be in both businesses. I'm I rather focus on like what I know best is like real estate. I don't want to focus on curating. At the moment, what I could do is just filter quality to come through you, see, and I see, introduce. So you feel like you don't want to you're not you're not i see what you're saying you feel like you're not a curator you're just that third that person to connect the vibes together and y'all go from there basically you like okay, yeah yeah you like, if you're the you owner are, and you want to choose yeah well, if you're the owner you, like, you want to choose this, this person that's too. ultimately that's on you you know you yeah, you yeah, chose them yeah. and i get but in the r world i'll be honest with you too in the r world even though you're that doing the least of trying to be transparent and be out of the, that that part right there you still curate dogs <laughs> i can see that yeah i can see you that. still curate you even though you might not be discussing the detail what's going on to that wall and everything but that person would have never known that wall is wasn't for you you still curating that to get them over there and then once that's done you know what i'm saying that wall is done and everything that's still going to be in your world of decks it's like look at this artist he did this for this particular you know company and everything yeah you still curating yeah. more art out there so I get what you're saying. You are that person, but you're doing your curation a little bit different. And I like that. You just you're a different type of curator. Your curation yeah, is yeah, different. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're a different type of curator. You're still curating, but you're a different type. You just put the two connects and stepping out of being that middleman. You don't need to be talking. You just like look, here's a wall dogs. I'm getting my people from you, not from the artist. You know what I'm saying? Let me connect this stuff. You pay me, I'll give you to them, and that's keep it pushing. I get that. Totally get it. And I love the way you're doing that. But you are curator. <laughs> So let's put that fine, fine. Slightly, yeah. in your, slightly on your business card, dogs, you know what I'm saying? Because you are that. You may not be going in depth with it. And sometimes, if you know what? You might never know. Somebody might walk up to a wall space be like, yo, I got this festival coming up. Wall space, I want you to curate that. And all you're doing is picking artists. You know what I'm saying? Picking artists to go in there. And then. That's what I do. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a small little curator of the little stuff that I get to do. Like when I do projects and stuff like, for instance, one of the Life is Beautiful, uh, when they and I've been in like this group for probably like four years, four or five years. But when they gave, gave me a, 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 a chance to to really like incorporate other artists, I, it was a collective that I did. So I got other artists, you know, to come into that. So that's like technically curate. You know what I'm saying? It was just five friends that I knew that was dope that would be on time that that I knew I didn't have to really. And and I gave a couple of free, you know, a couple like think three or two people. Where I gave one for to a young artist, a real young girl in high school, gave her a chance to be into that, 
you know what I'm saying, a couple of street artists that are just hustling out in the game doing graffiti and stuff, you know, just, just took them off the street and said, come on, let's do this like a beautiful thing, get down with this, you know what I'm saying? So I took people apart out of different worlds to, to feel that. That right there is curating. Even though you don't realize you're doing it, but you really are doing it. You're bringing people together that needs to be run together for that particular project. So that's a beautiful thing. And, and, and there's nothing bad about it. You're doing it the right way. You're just doing it your way, curating. You know what I'm saying? You're doing it yeah, your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I agree. So, yeah. So, I, like, so, I, like the way, I like the way you you you, you, you put it on. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah I get what you're that. saying, that you're not a curator because curator, curator, but... Technically, you are, and I think you need to really put that and, and, and own up to that because you are. You are the you're you're the the key point of getting these two connections together. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't be afraid of that. Where you know embrace it because in the art world, that's what they want to hear. Artists want to hear, okay, you carrying some stuff. Oh, what did you do? All right, you know they'll talk to you more further with that. I feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel. Hold on, hold on. Here we come back. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, so I, I definitely love what you're doing and I appreciate you being here and spending this hour with me. I appreciate you taking the time out. I appreciate you talking to me, Michelle and Elle. <laughs> Since other people were so scared to jump on and conversate with us, that's okay. I could be like that. I could be quiet. <laughs> 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 but I appreciate you, sweetheart. Definitely. Happy definitely. to be here. Yeah, no, I thank you for the time you took out you know, to, to speak with me. And I thank you everyone for all the questions. Uh, any other questions, please uh, shoot me an email or a DM or whatever. I'll be happy to answer or get on the phone or, you know, um, hop on a video call just to, you know, um, introduce myself personally. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Tanya. I appreciate the time. This was great. Oh, no uh, hey, oh look, we I got a question. To the next one. Oh, yeah. definitely. We got one more question. We got one more question. We got to ask this for Michelle. She said, what advice would you give to a new artist and how to get started? You know what? I'm, we're going to both answer this question. I'm going to go first, go fast. I think the best way for you all to get started is just to get into it. Just jump into it. Go for it. Don't listen to nobody. Do what you love. Concentrate on that and build your brand from scratch. Start with just hustling, getting you out there. Use the Utilize this Instagram, this, this social media. We didn't have that 20 years ago, 25 years ago, you know, 30 years ago. We didn't have social media to really just go in and everything. So I love that people for newbies get out there and put yourself out there. And I'm going to pass the mic over to my boy Jordan to answer that question. Um, in my opinion, um, I would just piggyback off of what you said. Um, you know, people were saying, uh, you know, not people, uh, just hearing feedback from, from all these startup communities that I was, you know, I was like, I'm entering this world now. I feel like I, you know, I'm doing this all by my own. Um, you know, you got you have to like just dive into it don't listen to what anyone else says like just follow everything's gonna work out that's how i see it like everything happens for a reason um yeah. you know uh i walk down certain streets on a different day and i see something different that inspires me like that was my reason for you know that was my reason for doing something different that day um you know don't don't you know you're you're i would say this you're gonna build your craft as you grow so you're gonna you know, perfect your craft, I should say. You're gonna perfect your craft, so don't be afraid to try different things. Um, and I personally think, like, yo, if, if if you think it's fire, other people are gonna think it's fire. So there you, go. you just have to have you just have to have confidence in what you're building. Um, and you that's go. you know that's something I learned when I was making beats, or whatever. Like, I was saying, if I think it's fire, other people think it's fire. If I don't have confidence in what I'm putting out there, what I feel is right, then I may I may get that see that feel that doubt from someone else. Um, so yeah, just be confident in what you're putting out. That's what I would say. Oh man, that's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing right there. You know what? Let's yeah. end this. Out. I would love to hear one of your beats. You could just you could flow out to one of your tracks. Do you have a track available that we can hear? Yeah, I could probably say something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go out with a bang and go out on this showcase episode seven. Tune us to us every Tuesdays at noon. I have another artist or another product for y'all to. Definitely watch and vibe with me. I appreciate y'all. Jordan, I love you being here. So we're going to roll out with Jordan. And we're going to see you next time on Don't Sweat the Techniques. Go ahead, Jordan. Yeah. Um, let me see. Can you hear that or no? Uh, I don't hear anything. Do anybody else no, hear anything? You don't hear that? Yeah, yeah. It's probably because of how I'm playing. Oh, it. okay. Um, I'm. Try, I don't know how I could play it through the um through the through the app. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna schedule you for another time. We're gonna come back with the music side of, of Jordan and put some oh, tune okay. artwork with some tracks and everything and really have some fun. How's that? Yeah. Or if you go on my Instagram, any of any song that you hear in the uh and any of the videos that we've produced uh, has all been by me. So, and, and any of the podcasts that we've done, uh, I forgot to mention like my podcast, the Wall Space Station. It's on Spotify. Oh, they do the podcast, dude. Tell us about the podcast. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it out, pull it out. This maybe come on to your yeah, podcast. Yeah, before we cut out, before we cut out, um, the, the Wall Space Station podcast is just me interviewing and and sort of uh, gauging, uh, you know, um, I would say fielding questions from artists and trying to just understand what got them into graffiti or street art uh so we're on our fifth episode which is hopefully coming out this week the fifth episode or sixth episode coming out this week so um so yeah um you'll see you'll hear some tracks what's the name of it again player. what's the name of the it? wall Where space state the wall space station so like space station but like the wall space station. nice i like that i love the way you play around with things I like that yeah, yeah. I love that you gotta stay on brand you gotta stay on there brand, you go man. you gotta stay on brand all day long that's what i yeah. love about it and where they can find it i guess all with, with uh they can find it on every streaming regular service yeah it's it's, pretty, it's it should be on everything yeah spotify gotcha. as well there you go guys so let's all just right. thank you for being here again and then we're going next time we're going to try to get his music up and going guys we're going to get that yeah, going yeah, next day, on the next one but thank you for stopping by and sharing this experience with us and and tell us about your business and please write folks out there who's listening and who's who logged on or who's going to be longer on checking us out please check out wall space he, he entered his uh email and his website and definitely check out his podcast like i said what we're here for is don't sweat the techniques and don't sweat my boy. Just get up with him because he's very talented and I'm so happy that he's creating a space for us muralists and artists. So definitely contact him, guys. And once again, thank yeah. you again. And come back to us next Tuesday at noon and Sunday at 9 a.m. I mean, Sunday's at 7. Excuse me, I forgot my time. I'm here at Sundays at 7 and <laughs> Tuesdays at noon. And we will be shouting out a, a, a new date coming up. I'm going to add it on one more day. So it's going to be three times a week I'm going to be coming on. So I'm starting awesome. to get used to this, guys. Yeah, I'm starting to get used to this live stream and stuff. So thank you again. Everybody stay All blessed. Right. I'll check you out on a meantime. Keep a contact with me and just keep this going. Definitely. And I'll talk to you soon, sweetie. And everybody right, else. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. I'm trying to get you up here, so <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can do it this way. No.